This is the Urban Dictionary definition of ticked off. On the annoyance scale, it's midway between miffed and pissed off. The Urban Dictionary description of this is too funny to read without cracking up. So for our purposes, it's the point on the anger scale at which a person can no longer function in the workplace, i.e. won't do their job. A person can have underlying low-level anger and still function in their job. Sometimes it actually helps to be a little angry. When they reach the point of being ticked off, they don't do their job. About 9% of the population is extremely angry and it has access to firearms. Nobody likes to think about that stuff. Here are some reasons for workplace anger. I'll let you read them. All of these things are directly related to management. Here's an example. You come into work and you're neutral. The company screws you out of pay and now you're annoyed. So you do a half-assed job. Now you're annoyed. The boss rags you for doing a half-assed job and now you're ticked off. And now you don't do your job. So you're ticked off. The boss keeps ragging you. Now you're pissed off. And now you bring your firearm to work. Sometimes it happens a lot faster. You're neutral. Someone sexually harasses you. You're pissed off immediately. And you sue everybody involved. One person is ticked off, it may be more about that one person, but if everybody's ticked off, it's a systemic problem that literally threatens the business. This is the Fisher body strike in 1939. Everyone is pissed off. Nowadays, they just usually quit. Remember in episode nine, we talked about McCaig's law, which says nothing happens in isolation. If a company is ticking off its employees, chances are there are a lot of other underlying issues and people aren't doing their jobs.